In this episode, we're going to take a look at plots in Capture. I've prepared a project file here with four fixtures. I have already patched them and assigned various relevant information such as unit, channel, and circuit numbers. As I switch one of the views into plot mode, this information is automatically presented along with the fixture symbols, but also information such as the focus label of the fixture or any filters inside it. One important use of the plot view apart from previewing the way certain fixture will look is to make plot adjustments. Plot adjustments are enabled by flicking the on-off switch at the top right corner of the navigator. And when enabled, I can move and rotate the fixture without affecting the visualization. This allows me to tidy up a situation where symbols might be tightly packed or overlapping for some other reason. Once I've made the adjustments necessary in the plot view, I can proceed with creating an actual plot. This is done in the design tab by right clicking on the plots folder and selecting add new plot. When I've created the plot I can double click on it to open the editor which presents me with a blank page. It's a good idea to start with adjusting the page setup to suit your desired output. In my case, I intend to print an A4 landscape. At this point, I'm ready to start adding insets into the plot. Do this by right-clicking and choosing one of the insert options. I'll start with a view, which I can position and resize using the corners of the selection. Since this is a view, there are a few additional buttons available here that you may not have seen before. This is the panoration and zoom control. I'm also going to proceed with inserting a header. This shows the project information that I have entered in the project properties of this project. This is the same information that's visible here in the corner of the visualization. I also want to add a symbol key to explain the fixture symbols used in this plot. You can see that it also counts the number of fixtures of each type. In terms of scaling, the scale of the plot view will depend on how much you have zoomed it. You can also read the scale here in the properties list as well as manually edit it if you would like to do that. In order to show the actual scale on the plot, you will need to enable the show scale property. Thank you for watching and join me for the next episode.